Hello friends. In this video we will discuss the surveying subject. We will discuss the most important asked multiple choice questions from surveying subject in all civil engineering competitive exam papers. Welcome to our channel. Civil Engineering Basics. For more videos please subscribe. Civil Engineering Basics. Magnetic declination at any place doesn't remain constant. Note, the horizontal angle between the true meridian and magnetic meridian is known as magnetic declination. It changes with time. Magnetic declination at any place doesn't remain constant. The horizontal angle between the true meridian and a survey line is called azimuth. The horizontal angle between the true meridian and a survey line is called azimuth. Note, true bearing of a line is also known as azimuth. It does not change with time, it is a constant. Imaginary line passing through points having equal magnetic declination is termed as isogonic lines. Imaginary line passing through points having equal magnetic declination is termed as isogonic lines. At the magnetic poles, the amount of dip is 90 degree. At the magnetic poles, the amount of dip is 90 degree. The vertical angle between longitudinal axis of a freely suspended magnetic needle and a horizontal line at its pivot is known as dip. Note, dip is the inclination of the magnetic needle with the horizontal. The dip is zero at equator and needle will remain horizontal. The line made up of point having zero declination is called agonic lines. The line made up of point having zero declination is called agonic lines. Irregular variations are due to magnetic storms, earthquakes, solar influences. Irregular variations are due to magnetic storms, earthquakes, solar influences. In high latitudes, the diurnal variations of the magnetic needle is greater. Agree. In high latitudes, the diurnal variations of the magnetic needle is greater. Agree.
diurnal variation of magnetic declination is less at equator than nearer the poles. Diurnal variation of magnetic declination is less at equator than nearer the poles. Note, variation in a day, more during daytime and less during nighttime, more at magnetic poles and less at equator, considerably more in summer than in winter, changes from year to year. True meridians are generally preferred to magnetic meridians because these remain constant. True meridians are generally preferred to magnetic meridians because these remain constant. The theodolite is an instrument used for measuring very accurately horizontal and vertical angles. The theodolite is an instrument used for measuring very accurately horizontal and vertical angles. The magnetic bearing of a line is south 35 degree 30 minute east and the magnetic declination 4 degree 30 minute west. The true bearing of a line will be s 31 degree 30 minute east. Note, true bearing equals magnetic bearing plus minus declination. Plus sign for east and declination and, sign for west and declination. If magnetic meridian is to the right side, or eastern side, of true meridian declination is positive. If magnetic meridian is to the right side, or eastern side, of true meridian declination is positive. Note, if magnetic meridian is to the right side, or eastern side, of true meridian declination is eastern or positive. If it is to left side, or western side. It is said to be western or native. An imaginary line joining the point of intersection of the crosshairs of the diaphragm and the optical center of the object glass, is known as line of collimation. Note, the line passing through the intersection of horizontal and vertical crosshairs and optical center of object glass and continuation is called line of sight or line of collimation. The staff intercept will be smaller, further off the staff is held. The staff intercept will be smaller, further off the staff is held. Visit civilbasics.blogspot.in for more details. Visit civilbasics.blogspot.in for more details. The intercept of a staff is minimum if the staff is held truly normal to the line of sight. The intercept of a staff is minimum if the staff is held truly normal to the line of sight. The process of turning the telescope of a theodolite over its supporting axis through 180 degrees in a vertical plane is called transiting. Reversing plunging. The process of turning the telescope of a theodolite over its supporting axis through 180 degrees in a vertical plane, is called transiting, reversing, plunging.
the axis of bubble tube must be perpendicular to the vertical axis is right. The axis of bubble tube must be perpendicular to the vertical axis is right. A line joining the optical center of the object glass and the center of eyepiece, is known as axis of telescope. A line joining the optical center of the object glass and the center of eyepiece, is known as axis of telescope. When the face of the vertical circle is to the left of telescope, this position of telescope is called telescope normal condition. When the face of the vertical circle is to the left of telescope, this position of telescope is called telescope normal condition. Thank you so much for viewing this video. For more video on civil engineering subscribe my channel. Civil Engineering Basics